now as we dive into our day, you've got blue skies, things are clear, lots of sunshine. You see that uh, from the old mill cam and also up at Alta Albion Basin. Look at those blue skies. It looks like a painting right now. Uh, but still, it's feeling a bit cooler than what it's actually showing. 44 in Salt Lake City feels like 38. We still have that breeze coming from the northwest 12 miles per hour. So across the Wasatch Front, it's going to feel a wee bit cooler than what you're actually seeing. But you're seeing those mid 40s right now. Upper 30s in Logan, right at freezing in Bear Lake. And also in Evans senior at 34 now in Park City down in St. George 57 degrees nearing 50 in Blanding and we're still holding on to some of those strong gusty winds that wind advisory has expired but still some of those gusts stretching from Richfield down to Beaver along that I-15 corridor also in Price and you're continuing to see that in southeastern Utah in areas like Blanding all the way up to Moab so be prepared for that especially in the canyons until early afternoon those will really start to die down but we're not dealing with that wind advisory clear skies across the state today and high pressure is going to be the dominating feature. You see it building in. It's centered over the Great Basin. It'll build into Utah and Southwest Wyoming by Friday. That's when we're going to see our warmest day of the week. But check this out. We get to the weekend and we're going to see a trough of low pressure dipping into the Beehive State. And this is going to bring us a chance for wet weather early next week. So more showers, April showers on the way. Today in Salt Lake City, low 50s. It's going to be a pretty mild day. That breeze will make it feel a bit cooler and this is below our average, but each day it's going to get a little bit warmer, but this will feel better than yesterday. Low 50s, sunshine across the Wasatch Front, 40 in Park City. You'll hit 74 in St. George, 58 in Moab, 42 in Evanston. And tonight we drop down to the mid 30s. Another cold night, not as cold as this morning, but you are going to want to grab the extra layers tomorrow morning. And some of us are going to be dealing with freeze warnings. I'll show you that in a moment. 24 overnight in Park City, 41 in St. George, clear skies, so nothing to insulate us and warm us up. And that freeze warning is going to be in place tonight, 1 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Eastern Uinta Basin, Arches, that includes Moab and Southeast Utah. You see that just south of Blanding down to that northern Arizona border. So that's where we're going to be dealing with sub-freezing temperatures, especially our eastern valleys. Southern Utah, tomorrow we get past the cold in the morning and things really start to warm up. 80 on Thursday and then you just keep warming. Friday, mid 80s, nearing 90 on Saturday, but all of that changes early next week. When that next storm rolls through, you'll drop down to 70 Monday, 60 on Tuesday. Now in Northern Utah, take a look at these temperatures. Talk about a change. We go from the low 50s today to the mid 70s on Friday. This weekend, it's gonna be mild for your Saturday. But we're going to start to see those changes Sunday by Monday. Those clouds start rolling in. They're going to take over and we're going to get that chance for scattered snow showers Monday night into Tuesday in southern Utah. And with that, dropping down to the upper 40s, Brian. So